basically make it the most popular, uh, the more popular the red ginseng. So this is phenomenon is often referred to us as a God gift. That's how people rank it the noni juice because this is amazing product and people just love it so much. So researchers in results had highlighted the antioxidant effect of noni. So which help to fight off harmful uh, free radicals, which cause of cell damage and aging, supporting health and well-being. The immune boost, with its rich nutrients uh, uh, profile, money juice can give you immune system a much needed boost, help to repair and generate damaged cells, and suppress the production and decrease of uh, cancer cells, prevent viruses or germs from invading your body. So helping you stay strong and resilient against common illnesses. Anti-inflammatory property. Nunich has been shown to possess anti-inflammatory property, making it uh, potentially beneficial for condition as an arthritis and joint pain. Digestive health support. So traditionally, users of noni juice include promoting digestive health and soothing the digestive, digestive tract, making it great addition to your daily wellness and routine because we all know that digestion is very important and digestive support entire system. Also, noni known as a skin nutrish, a nut nourishment. Noni is often used topical for its skin nourishing properties. It's like helping to moisturize your skin, anti-wrinkle treatment, reduce inflammation such as acne, and support overall skin health. Additionally, uh, recent researches of Noni show that their product is effective um, in, uh, in treating and improving various conditions it's a, such as high blood pressure, enhance blood sugar and in various vascular lipid levels, depression, obesity, uh, lowering cholesterol, uh, uh, healing wounds. 200 is kind of a beneficial uh, uh, phytochemicals uh, from noni. Seven types of minerals, 12 types of vitamins, 18 types of amino acid. That's how strong and effective noni. That's why people like it noni so much because they have such a huge, tremendous uh, influence on the, on the system and helping people. Then you choose a noni product. It's a good idea to go for fermented one. They have a significantly higher active ingredients content and better absorptions. Then uh, recommended to consume for adult for volume meals for four for uh, first uh, five days, two times a day, one or two times a day, and four meals after that. And you delete it in the water or whatever beverage you like it, whatever is your favorite. And the children about uh, five years old, uh, they take in five meals two times a day. Uh, diluted in like warm water. Also, soon if you open noni juice, you're supposed to keep it in the fridge. So, Atomy Organic fermented noni concentrated for $80 and 32,000 PV available for you in Canada. Enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you so much for that uh, amazing Noni presentation. I hope that you have uh, used Noni before, but if you haven't, I definitely encourage you to give it a try. It's a top quality product in Atomy and uh, will definitely worth using along with our Atoms Hemohim. Right? So if you love Hemohim, I'm sure you'll also love our amazing Noni as well. And so thank you so much for our product presentator. And so next we'll be moving on to our next presentation for today, which will be done by myself. Uh, we'll be doing the successful business formula.
Okay, and so uh, once again, um, hello everyone. Good to see everyone here today, right? Uh, I hope that you're you've been doing well in the past few uh, months, and now we're closing off on our twenty twenty four year, right? And so, um, just to kind of round it out and see where we are now. Uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit more about the successful things that we should be doing, right, to build out our business, whether it's habits or thoughts or, you know, the way you think about Adam and things like that. So we're just, I'm just going to be talking a little bit more about that. And, um, you know, it's a good time for us to reflect, right? So if you're on your Adam journey and you've been doing this for some time now, and then you realize that, okay, maybe I'm not making as much in Atomy as I thought I would, then maybe it's a good time for you to step back and reassess yourself and see where you are and where you want to be and what you're doing correctly and what you're doing wrong so that you know, uh, you know what your goals will be for 2025, right? And so just like this picture, right, when you look at gold, right you immediately think of like wow that's that's nice i want something like that like gold is considered valuable right it's a commodity it's something that if you have it has value right and so immediately when you have a bar of gold you immediately understand that this is worth money right and so when you think of atomy what do you think right does it immediately do you think of like money do you think of like oh i'm gonna be rich i'm gonna be wealthy uh, maybe, maybe to you, maybe, you know, to you, Atomy is something different. Maybe it's just something like, okay, I'm not really thinking of Atomy as like, it's going to bring me wealth. I'm just thinking of Atomy as like, maybe it's just a side gig that I'm going to do in the meantime, uh, see if I can make a little bit of money. If I succeed, yes, great. If I don't, whatever, right. But like in, in any sort of uh, job that we do, uh, especially in Atomy, our, our mentality is so important, right? Because the way we perceive things, the way we look at things can directly impact how we take action on, on those subjects or whether what, whatever it is in life, right? And so the Atomy is no different, right? So if you receive Atomy and if we uh, act very cheap in terms of receiving Atomy, then your chance of success will not come, right? So what do I mean by that is that if you, let's say, receive Atomy from someone, and maybe you have done this before, where you ignore that person, right? You receive that product, and then you throw it away into the side of the room or side of your washroom or whatever, keep it in somewhere, and then you never use it because you think that Atomy is not something that you want to ever touch. It's like, oh, what? It's a network marketing product. I don't want to use it. It's probably a scam, blah, blah, blah. And then so you leave it on the side, and then you think that, okay, you know, I'm never going to ever need to use this because I, I love the products that I already purchased from my local grocery store, right? Then we are missing out on the value of Adam, right? Because once we later down the road, we understand that, okay, like what Adam is in terms of value, then we'll later might come to regret it. It's like, oh, I should have listened to Daniel when he said like, oh, I should have tried it at least once at that time, right? At least if I gave it a try, then I might have been able to join in his success, join in, in that success, right? And so, uh, you know, never it's never too late. However, that's the beauty of Atomy. But, you know, it's always good to understand the value of what you're holding now so that you can act towards that, right? And so in Atomy, we have to understand that what we are given, even though it may be a free opportunity and it's nothing that you have to pay for, right? Like you being here today, you didn't pay to be here. You didn't pay to join seminars or lectures. And there are a lot of uh, predatory uh, things out there that try to take advantage of people's desperation, right? There, if you go on like uh, very uh, famous platforms like TikTok and things like that, there's a lot of so-and-so content creators that advertise their so-called programs to get rich. And then they charge you exorbitant amounts of sums like $500, $1,000 just to buy their little marketing scheme and then have you follow this program, which generates you no wealth at all. So then what do you do? You're now out a thousand dollars you're not out fifteen hundred dollars right so then will you be happy about that no right you'll feel even more skeptical about starting your own business right but in this day and age if we want to follow uh you know the trend it is online marketing right 
it is to own your own business. Otherwise, you'll never escape poverty because right now inflation is at, at an all time high, right? Currently the average, um, I think minimum pay for Toronto is like 17, 1750 or something like that, right? But in order for you to actually have a living chance to live in Toronto, you need to make uh, more than double of that, right? So you need to have like an average salary of at least uh, 80,000 or so per year for you to actually live, right? And not even being able to enjoy like live, right? Just paying rent and buying food in Toronto. And that's just how bad it is in Canada. The economy has gotten a lot worse. Uh, after, especially after COVID because of the poor management of the government. And those are things that we personally can't control, right? Unless you're a politician, unless you're the president, you can't control those things, right? So the only thing that you can control is your own future on what you can do and what how you can do that, right? And so you have to understand that what you're holding now is a really God-given opportunity, right? And it won't come twice. So you have to be very smart about your decision, right? Because imagine yourself 10 years uh, from the future, right? If you're currently in your current job, right? And then let's say inflation continues to rise, right? Will your current job beat out inflation, right? I'm pretty sure 100% of the time, no, right? Even if you manage to get like a raise in between, uh, you know, a couple of years, your salary will still not be able to beat inflation. So you'll still be poor, right? And in the end, maybe that's what the system wants. What That's what maybe the world wants you to be, right? The people at the top continue to want people who are poor because otherwise, if everyone was rich, how could they possibly hire people and use them, right? So they need people who are desperate and wanting to make money to work for them, you know, with their, you know, standards being lower, right? We value ourselves at such a high level, but these companies value ourselves at a much lower level because that's what how much they want to pay them. And many of us don't have a choice but to accept, right? And so it's really, really important for us to understand that what we're doing now is a really big opportunity not given to us more than once usually, if maybe like maximum three times in your life, right? And so uh, think about it deeply about why you choose to do Atomy and then understand uh, you know, maybe it's it's something that you're not doing enough to do and have success in your business, right? And so think 10 years from now, if you diligently do Atomy, then where will you be, right? Right, 10 years from now. I hope that you can already shout in your mind, Imperial, right? If from 10 years from now, if you can say that you're going to be an Imperial master and that's your thought, then I think that you're going to succeed no matter what. 10 years is actually a very short time in our life if we think about it right? Because we live up to, let's say now, an average 100 years. We live to 100. Most people live to 100 because of how advanced technology is. Maybe we'll live even longer now, right? When they advance even more in terms of healthcare. But when you have that such a long time, do you want to be working for that full 120 years? Right? I feel that that would be such a miserable life to have, right? And so the other day, um, I took an Uber from a friend's place to get back home and then the person that picked me up was a 80 year old grandpa right and he was working so hard and he said that he worked for as an accountant and then he retired but because his pension and all that stuff couldn't keep up he still had to work part-time on the side just to generate in a, enough income to you know pay his bills give some money to his grandkids and things like that right how sad is that that is the reality that we are living in currently, right? Maybe 20 years ago, no one would have ever thought of doing this kind of lifestyle. 20 years ago, right? Back then, you could just have one single job. You, you know, finish and you retire around 60, 65, and then you can live comfortably off your pension and all that stuff. But now the economy and how life is, we can't do that anymore right? It's not the same anymore. Then should we still be doing the same thing as 20 years ago, right? The job market and the system is still based off a much older system, right? Then we're still going to be poor for the rest of our lives. We're still going to be following the same, uh, you know, poverty system, and we're going to give it to our children, right? And I think that's one of the most scariest things to pass on poverty to your children. Like you being poor, yes, 
so somewhat is acceptable because it's your choice. You can live with it. But if you give it to your children, they didn't have that choice. Now they have to live with your choices of accepting that poverty, right? So then it's up to you to change and change their life for them, right? Obviously, you don't want to make them spoiled, but they will be very thankful for you if you select a better future for them as well. And I think Atomy really has that potential, right? It really has the potential to change your life. So then you really have to set the right mentality for yourself. How do you view Atomy, right? Do you truly value Atomy as something that is equivalent to worth in terms of gold, right? Do you view Atomy as being something that's something worthwhile for you to bargain and put your all into, right? I want you to think truly about that and see, like, where do I see myself in Atomy 10 years down the road? If I'm still the same person I am now, and then 10 years down the road, will I still be successful? If the answer is no in Atomy or in anything else, that means you have to change, right? Not your sponsors, not your partners, right? You have to change. We can't expect other people to change for us. And for, for unfortunately, that's the reality of life, right? Is this something that you encounter in, while doing Atomy time and time again, where you're going to meet a lot of different people and then you're going to expect so much out of them. But unfortunately, a lot of them won't be able to deliver to your satisfaction. You're going to meet people who are not going to be making you happy because they're like, oh, you know, my partner, they're so lazy, like, oh, they're so non-committed. What can I do to change them? But ultimately, you can't. Right. If that's who they are, that's what they are going to do. Right. You can't do anything about it. Then move on. Right. It's OK. Move on to the next person. And eventually, maybe that partner will have a change of heart and come back to you. But until then, work on yourself and continue to apply that to others. And slowly, those around you might change. But you can't force others to change so that you can succeed. You just have to continue to change yourself and eventually success will follow. Right. The law of attraction is ever present in Atomy, where if you project yourself to be unsuccessful, you're going to attract unsuccessful people. But if you project yourself to be successful, you will naturally attract success and successful people. Right. It's a very interesting thought, but the law of attraction is very, very much real, especially in Atomy, I believe. Right. The way we present ourselves, the way we, you know, put on our clothes, the way we handle ourselves, the way we use Atomy products. If we don't do any of those, then naturally you're going to attract people who are just like you. We're not going to do any of those, right? So then you're going to complain to your sponsor, like, oh, my partners are so lazy. They're not doing anything. And then the sponsor is going to say the exact same thing to you. You're like, how come you're not doing anything, right? How come you expect your partners to change when you're not the same, right? So then you have to be the one to change so that you can change your life. Okay. And so successful people, we know all about them. There's, they're everywhere, right? Especially someone like him. We might all know, if you don't know, he is Steve Jobs, right? He is the CEO, the ex-CEO of Apple before he passed away, right? And he had a lot of failures, a lot of growth before his success uh, in Apple, right? He actually failed quite a bit of times, right? Dropped out of college and all these things, right? These are more uh, information about him. You want to read it up, you can uh, be my guest and search it up. But the key point is that he continued to strive for success. He never gave up. He had a vision for what his future would be like, why he wanted to create Apple. Uh, and, you know, it's not just about money, right? Steve Jobs and a lot of successful people, they all have a thing in common. Their only goal wasn't just about money, right? Money was just a byproduct of what happened when they applied themselves and sought out their goals and vision. And so that's why it's, for people who are only chasing for money in Atomy, you're not going to find much success because you're hungry and greedy for that. And you know, the, the world and everything else, they know, right? People will know when you're just greedy for them because you want to succeed, just you want to make money, right? So instead, find what your vision is, right? What is your vision? Maybe it is something that you want to become uh, very successful because you want to help those around you. Maybe it's because you want to generate a uh, you know a happy family you want wealth not in terms of just being money rich but like wealth and time wealth and friends right and all those things won't happen without you following and and building out your success and vision right so then what is your vision anatomy right we have to start thinking about that and and creating it 
right? So it's never too late to create that vision, right? If you don't have one already, start today, start tomorrow, but don't put it off, right? Don't say, okay, I'm going to put this vision off for tomorrow. I'm going to put it off for next year because, you know, I'm busy, right? I have to take care of my kids. I have to do the laundry, right? So then when, when will you find success in Adam? If all you're doing is making excuses, 10 years later, you'll still be making those excuses, right? There is very, very, uh, you know, sad because there's people who probably started Atomy 10 years ago when it first started, and they're still maybe only like Diamond Master, Sharon Rose Master or whatever. And that shows that they haven't actually applied themselves, right? They haven't actually sought change because if they truly were serious about the business, then if at the, at least by the fifth year mark, they should realize that they're doing something incorrect if they're not already at least the crown master or a royal master, then they should have started to change their strategy. But there's people who don't, right? And that's who they are. Maybe that's what they, they all they are mounted for, right? It's fine. It is what it is. But don't be like those people. You should not be like those people, at least, right? If that's your sponsor, if that's your partner, let them be. It is what it is. But you focus on yourself and find out, you know, the successful things that you need to do in anatomy, right? And so there's a few different things that we can cover today uh, in terms of becoming a successful person in anatomy, right? So you want to have uh, become someone who is focused, right? You want to be focused on the business, right? That is true in anything. If you don't do anatomy, at least if you're doing something else, you got to be focused. If you open up a store, you have to be focused on that business. If you only spend like two hours a day on that business, it's not going to be successful, right? You have to have a business mindset as well, right? You have to have a strong business mindset if you want to be successful in Atomy. And then you have to have a, a person, become a person who's able to overcome all hardships, not just some, not just any, but all hardships, because you're going to experience a lot of different things, right? You're going to experience all kinds of negativity, all kinds of rejection, especially in Atomy, because we are a network marketing business, right? And so if you are not able to overcome those hardships when they come to you, then you're going to have a lot of hard times, right? Especially when, you know, you, you receive your first rejection in anatomy, and then you're going to go to your sponsors and cry and like, oh, I'm so, I, I'm so having a hard time. This is impossible. No one wants to be my partner. Then how, who's going to help you succeed, right? It's up to you to grab a hold of that. It's like, okay, you know what? Like that person rejected me. I'm going to go again. Right. I'm going to go out and reach out to the next person. If that person rejects me, it's fine. You got to go again. Right. You can't fail like fear rejection and you can't fear failure in anatomy. Right. And you have to be lastly a person who's going to be able to grow their dream. Right. I talked about how important it is to have a vision. Right. If you're wanting to be successful, you need to have a vision. So that means you need to know how to grow your vision. It can't be just stagnated, same vision throughout the year, but your vision has to continuously upgrade and change. Right. And so that only can happen if you put in the work to it. Right. Your vision can smart, uh, start out small. Right. It's OK to have a smaller vision in the beginning, but you want to continue to grow that vision, grow that dream. Right. So then we're going to talk a little bit more about the first, which is, the, you know, to have a focus on your business. Right. And so many uh, most people, when they ask when they decide to commit to Atomy, a lot of them, they just say like, oh, I started this business three years ago. I started this business four years ago. But we're not asking when they started, right? But rather when they committed to Adam, right? Because there's a big difference between when you start and when you truly commit to Adam, right? Because I can start today, but if I don't commit, five years later, I'll still be starting and not committing, right? But if I've committed to that business, if I've truly committed to Adam, then five years later, my Adam business will be different Adam business because I've committed. Right. And that's the big difference between being committed to something and you know not putting in any sort of commitment to anything. Right. So we have to build out that commitment uh, one step at a time. Right. And so that this tells you that that person uh, does not actually have any sort of resolve towards Adam. Right? They, they don't really have that. And it's, you know, a simple example of it is like, oh, I committed to Adam is that when I started using Hemohim and then I realized that Hemohim cured my you know, um, seasonal allergy, right? And that's when I realized that Atomy was a game changer. There's nothing out there like this. And I know that a lot of people will benefit. And so that's when I decided to give it a try, give this a try and focus on this business, right? 
And so those of us who haven't decided on Atomy, uh, we're not going to be able to focus on actually committing to it. Right? So when we're doing Atomy, we're just going to attend the meetings and you know basically talk to our sponsors here and there. And we think that we're actually doing a good job. But in, in reality, if you're not really focused, then you're not doing the, the majority of the important stuff, which is to learn and then share, right? To go out there and actually share, right? If you're only applying yourself in one aspect of the business, then you're not actually succeeding, right? There's many different kinds of people you're going to meet in Atomy. Some of them, they just only come to the seminars and then they think they're doing a good job, right? Maybe, maybe, but I don't think that's a, doing a very good job, to be honest, right? Maybe they, they themselves think that, but if they come to you afterwards and complain that how come I'm not making any money, it shows you why, right? Because their belief is that they can just go to the seminar without putting in any other effort and think that they can become a millionaire. But in Atomy, you have to put in other th things, right? You have to you know, put in some effort going into the seminars every, every month, every week. And you also have to go out there and share, right? And face rejection, right? Those are just natural parts of Atomy as a business, right? But if you don't do one part and only do the other, then you're going to have a very difficult time uh, finding any sort of growth in your Atomy business, right? And so just like if we think about it, if we sit in front of a uh, you know table and then we're, we're studying, for exam, let's say, right? And I spend like eight to 10 hours studying, but I'm not really focused, then all that eight to 10 hours are actually wasted. But if I just spend two hours just hyper-focused on it, then I'm spending a good chunk of time really committing and I'll have actual results, right? So the same thing with Atomy. If you, even if you spend eight to 10 hours, but you don't really figuratively do anything in Atomy, then you're not really showing any results and your sponsors will see that. Your sponsors will know, right? So instead of focusing on spending a lot of time, if you don't have a lot of time, right? Which many of us don't, if Atomy is you're just starting out, then you can hyper-focus, right? Just spend like at least a day right? Throughout the week, let's say you're working from Monday to Friday, you have Saturday, Sunday off, right? Send, spend Saturday just doing only Atomy, right? And then Sunday, you can have off and do other things like doing laundry or whatever, cooking meals. But Saturday, just pour your everything into Atomy that day, right? Go out there, meet people, share, spend a couple of hours learning, go to the seminars, talk to your sponsors, whatever it is that you need to do that Saturday, do it, right? Don't wait on it till next week, next month, just do it, right? And then from there on, you move on to the next points and then you just continue to push yourself forward and that's how you're going to uh, you know, grow your business, right? You're gonna focus on putting in actual effort. And the next thing we uh, need to uh, cover is to have a business mindset, right? And so you need to know the value of your own network and have to have an eye to recognize your core members, right? And so this is very important because when you don't value your own network, then you're going to disregard all the potential customers and partners that you might have, right? And so there's like someone who's like, oh, you know, my left side is doing well, but my right side is not so well and I'm not making any, any money, right? So then what this tells me is that they don't really know anything about network marketing and how to be successful in network marketing. And that's why they're not able to grow their weaker leg, right? And that's okay. Then you just have to study and then they're able to do that and grow their weaker leg. But if you have a stronger leg and then you just use the same method to use that, to grow that stronger leg onto the weaker leg, then you're going to be successful. But if you grew and if you didn't grow your stronger leg, right, your sponsors grew it for you, then obviously you're not going to have any idea on how to grow your weaker leg because none of that work was actually your work, right? And so a true business that isn't successful is that whenever, even though you tried your hardest to grow both your left and right leg, like you genuinely tried hard, you met thousands of people every month and it still didn't grow on both legs and it still didn't grow, that's when you know that that business is hopeless, right? But in Atomy, there is no such thing as that, right? Because if your sponsor is at least working, then one side will eventually be bigger than the other. Right, even if you're not doing anything, and that's such an amazing thing. That's not something that we should be sad about or be frustrated about, but rather we should be thankful about that our sponsors are doing that, right? And thankful that we're in that position. So then, what do we need to do? We need to learn from our sponsors. We need to absorb everything that they have 
the techniques or whatever they're using to you know bring in people, we just copy that, duplicate that, right? If your sponsor is very good at doing that and bringing people in, then now you just take that formula and you apply it to your weaker leg without your sponsor's help doing it on your own. And then you're going to build out a habit, right? Don't rely on your sponsors for everything. They're not there to ultimately become your babysitters, right? They don't, they're not going to be the ones to do out and do build your business for you. Many people kind of also misinterpret this and think that, okay, like I'm going to have rely on my sponsor. They're going to be the one to add every member for me. They're going to be the one to talk to every member for me and, you know, uh, guide them and do all that. And then I'm just going to bring the people and they're going to be the ones to only, you know, do all the work, right? And that's a very skewed misconception in Atomy. And I think it's a big pitfall trap for many that uh, they encounter. But when you meet, uh, when you do this business, you have to go out there and do it yourself, right? Otherwise, like in the beginning, yes, you can rely on your sponsors, but otherwise you're not going to be able to know how to do anything in Atomy, right? And then how could you be saying that you're a successful business person when you're not doing any of the work, right? And you're just relying on your sponsors to do all that for you, right? If you don't have a specific skill set, that's fine, right? Like let's say my sponsor is really good at adding people because they're very good at speaking, but I'm not very good at speaking, right? Then I can rely on my sponsors to help me uh, add those people in the beginning, right? Keyword is beginning. Then I learn from my sponsors on how I can do it myself. And then I go on and do that and duplicate that on myself in my lines, right? So I don't only just rely on my sponsors, but rather I learn from them, right? And that's the key to duplication because eventually you're gonna also have partners. You're also going to have partners that need to learn. But if you didn't learn anything from your sponsor, how can you pass on that same knowledge to your partners? You can't, right? And then you're just going to leave it all to your sponsors and your sponsors are going to realize that and they're going to be like, okay, I can't really help you with that because I'm busy building my two legs. I can't help you build all your legs for you either, right? So you have to learn how to do it on your own if you want to be successful. And so it's really important because if that person ends up, you know, just relying on their sponsors and they start to make income, that's unearned income, right? And Atomy, in Atomy, they, they don't really want you to become like that. That's becoming a, what they call like a pig, right? Because you're not making a proper income from Atomy, but rather you're uh, benefiting off the hard work of others and hard work of your consumers. And then you're sitting there reaping the benefits. And eventually that system will fail, right? Because there's only a, a, a certain limit to how far that can go. But if you're satisfied with just doing that for a certain amount of time, I think that that is very pathetic. Right. To be honest, that is very sad, right? Because you're missing out on a big opportunity. Like I said before, you have to understand the value of Atomy, right? If you think of Atomy as just a couple of years, short money-making business, then you're wasting your time here. But if you think of Atomy as a million dollar business where you're making a hundred thousand a month, then you shouldn't act that way, right? You should start to apply yourself and really take it into your own hands and then, and learn from everything that your sponsors can offer you. Right, because eventually your sponsor will grow with or without you. Right. The question is, are you gonna be there so that you can be part of their growth and you can also benefit from their growth? Right. So don't let that chance uh, go to waste. Another thing is to have an eye uh, to really see. Right. Because if you're not able to see and recognize your core members, you're gonna have a very hard time doing this business. Right. In the beginning, yes, you might not have the uh, the quite the correct eyes and mindset to understand who is going to be the proper partners and sponsors. But later down the world, you're going to realize that not everyone can become your partners and not everyone is set out to become the right kind of uh, sponsors, right? And so what do I mean by that, right? So uh, like for your sponsors, I'm not talking about just the person above you who signed you up, right? Your sponsors are not only those people, but everyone above you is your sponsors technically, right? People above who are actually working hard and diligent. If your sponsor signed you up, but they're not really working, then they're not really your sponsor, right? They don't have anything to teach you and offer you, right? And a sponsor's role is not only designated to giving you points, right? That's a very big misconception as well, right? We are not a point generating robot for your success, right? But rather we are there as a guiding marker. We are there to 
help you understand how to do this business, what you need to learn, if you're lacking anything, what you need to do so that you can you know, make up for what you're lacking, but we're not there to just put points down your legs, right? And so the same thing for you. If you have a partner who's expecting them to be just putting points down their legs, then you, that's not a really a, a, a partner and they don't really understand the system, right? If you understand the system, then you already understand that this is not how it's going to work, right? So you have to recognize that, that your sponsors might not always be the one that's directly above you. Same with your partners, right? You're going to meet a lot of different people in anatomy, right? Hundreds of thousands of people in anatomy, and not everyone's going to be a partner. Majority of them are just going to be a customer. Some of them royal customers. And then from those royal customers, maybe potentially business partner. And even from those business partners, only maybe like a few of them will be your core partners because they're the ones that are going to be diligently actually working hard together with your business. So finding those people is going to be very, very hard, right? I'm just going to be honest with you. It's very hard, right? Almost like I'd say close to winning a lottery in, in some sense, right? And, you know, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything in Atomy because I don't want to mislead you. If Atomy is not the right business for you and you don't feel that way, then maybe you can just become a customer. That's fine. If you love the product, just become a customer. But if Atomy is really for you, then you're going to have to really bite the bullet and understand that, you're going to meet a lot of people and not everyone's going to be your person. You're going to meet a lot of people who are going to be rude to you. A lot of people who are going to think that they're smarter than you and they reject you. A lot of people who are just going to straight up just ignore you, right? And time and time again, you're going to feel like a failure sometimes, but you have to understand that this is just a means to an end, right? Don't let this distract you. Don't let this make you shy away from finding your success, right? Because Atomy is a successful business. It actually works. The only thing is that it's just hard. But what business is not e like hard, right? Like if you do any sort of business today, it's not going to be easy. And more times than not, your business will go bankrupt majority of the times, right? And it's just the st statistic that I'm speaking of, right? Out of like, you know, you start a business 10 times, nine times out of 10, your business will fail, right? And that's just normal. And that's just how it is. If you're becoming a, a self-made entrepreneur in this day and age, unless you have a very great idea, your business will not succeed the first time you do it, right? If you do, then maybe you should go also and, and scratch a lot lottery ticket because you might be really lucky. But it just shows you that how unlikely it is for a regular business to succeed. What makes you think that it's so easy in Atomy, right? Everyone thinks that it's so easy in Atomy. Like, okay, I'm just going to become a sales master once and then I'm just going to have a bunch of people and then leave it to my sponsors and I'm done. My job is done. No, your job is not done. Please, please, you know, work towards your, your business. And that means that you need to have an eye to discern who is going to be actually a, a good partner for you, right? And it also comes hand in hand with understanding yourself, right? The way you act and the way you, uh, you know, behave will also attract those good people, right? So if you want to have successful people, become successful yourself. I'm not talking about in only anatomy, but the way you, you handle yourself, the way you use your anatomy's products, the way you dress, right? Make sure you show others that anatomy is not something that they can look down on, right? Let them know that they can become successful just like you if they're part of anatomy. And so Atomy, in Atomy, you have to really become someone who is able to overcome hardship, right? Because while you're doing this business, you're going to encounter all kinds of people. And they're all going to tell you a lot of things like, Daniel, why are you doing Atomy? Atomy is, is a network marketing business, right? Network marketing business is bad. But they're telling me all this because they don't really understand anything about Atomy, right? If they've taken even a fraction of their time to understand what Atomy is about, then they wouldn't have been able to say any of it, right? Because in Atomy, do you have to pay to join? No, right? Do you have to pay to have inventory every single month? No, right? Did you pay to have Atomy's amazing website? No, right? Atomy is updating their website as well again to accommodate. So they're bringing in what, if you haven't gone to the Korean Atomy website, for the shopping mall is very beautifully done. They revamped it, very clean, easy to use. They're going to bring that over to uh, North America, right? And so it's a, such a great opportunity. And Atomy is not charging you. They're not making the products even more expensive to accommodate for that cost of 
how much they're spending to change that website, right? But if you own the same kind of business that you did with Atomy, let's say you own your own online shopping mall, you have to be the one to pay for all that. You have to be the one to do all that hard work, right? And so Atomy, you, we have to be very, very thankful. We have to be very thankful for all the things that they're doing. They don't have to revamp the website, but they're doing it because they want to make the user experience better because their end goal is customer success, right? If you look at the vision of Atomy, their vision is not to make money. Their vision is customer success. So what customer success means that they need to make us successful in, in any way possible, whether that's to help us through multiple different seminars, programs, right? Whether that's to create better websites, right? Whether that's to create a seminar location. Atomy is always thinking about us and what they can do. So then we need to do the same for our partners. What can we do for our partners, right? What can we do for those around us so that we can make them successful? Because if that's your focus, naturally money will come. Money is, like I said, is a byproduct of success, right? So don't focus on the money. Don't focus on just generating income, but rather focus on what you can do to make your partners successful. Then naturally those things will follow, right? And so you're going to face all kinds of rejections. I promise you this, those people will come crawling back to you when you're successful, right? Many of us, we, we think that right now it's hard, right? We're facing rejection. We're facing hardships. Or, you know, it's, it's not easy to become a, a, a crown master or a royal master or even leaders club. But eventually you will become a leaders club member if you work hard, right? You will become a royal leaders club. You will become a crown leaders and an imperial master, right? That is just inevitable if you continue to do Adam, right? The only thing that sets you apart is how determined are you, right? Are you able to re uh, just reject, get rejected a thousand times, a hundred times, uh, you know, only 10 times? Like who, what kind of person are you, right? You have to have a thick skin in Adam. You're going to meet all kinds of people. And yes, rejection is scary, but failure is even scarier. If you, if you really truly fail is when you give up, right? And when you're giving up, you're giving up an opportunity that's hard to come by again, right? Something that's free to use, free to come by, right? has a free system for you to utilize, right? A lot of these things are given to us, but we think and we take for granted a lot of these things, right? And so, you know, really be thankful for what you have in Atomy. Then it'll become a lot, a little bit easier for you to overcome that hardship. And so next, we have to become someone who grows their dreams, right? So without dreams, you're not going to have the necessary fuel to push yourself. Right, because a person who grows their dreams won't stop growing them just because someone tells them to. Right, like your your dreams has to be your motivational factor. Right, and so that's why you have to really push yourself and and make yourself be able to achieve these dreams, so that you can show those people around you, show those people who rejected you that yes, I can be successful. Yes, the Atomy is successful. So don't stop at where you are and continue to pursue yourself to success, right? So if I, no, let's say you make it halfway into becoming uh, uh, semi-sales or so forth, and I'm making like $200 automatically, right? Every month I'm making $200 and I don't need to, you know, work since my, you know, husband or, or wife is also giving me $300 every month, right? So as allowance. And so now I make $500, yay, I make $500 on allowance. So I go out there, I can shop and I'm relaxed. And so I stopped doing Atomy. So then what happens to your partners? Think about it, right? You're making money, but they're not making anything, right? Then they're going to starve and complain. That's just natural because you're not an, at a level where your partners are successful. You're just at the very bottom. And so what makes you think that you should stop there to feel satisfied? No, you shouldn't, right? Because you're going to inconvenience a lot of people. And that's where the notion of network marketing is bad because there's people like that who hinder other success by doing that, right? They just sit there in their level satisfied and then they just think that, okay, now I don't have to do any sort of work. But in Atomy, you have to keep pushing, keep pushing yourself. Even after you become Imperial Master, you have to push for a new thing, right? Not just in terms of money, but other things so that your partners can grow. You can find success in other avenues, right? So don't just stop growing your dreams. Continue to decide what you want to be. And it has to be very clear, right? It can't just be, I want to be rich. Right. It can't just be, I want to have a lot of freedom of time, right? It has to be very accurate, like, oh, 
and by this time, I want to be making, you know, $10,000 per month, right? By 2026, I want to be making 20,000 per month, right? You want to be accurate. Then you want to start setting yourself up for success. So then what can I do to make 20,000 a month? Okay, then first, I'm going to have healthy habits. I'm going to wake up early in the morning. I'm going to, you know, spend time meditating, go out to take a walk and then spend my time doing anatomy uh, for like a couple of hours, then go to my job or whatever, whatever schedule works for you. You plan that out for yourself, right? But you have to be the one to do that, right? Your partners, does, your sponsor doesn't know your life, right? They don't know your life in detail. So you have to be the ones to plan it out for yourself that you can find the success that you want, right? So grow your dreams and don't let others hinder your dreams, right? It doesn't matter if it's your kid, doesn't matter if it's your husband or wife or your parents, right? Until you personally face failure, you shouldn't let others determine what your level of limit is, right? Because if you let others decide your worth for you, then that's the, the only person you're, you're going to be, right? And many companies do that. They're going to hire you and they're going to say, oh, you're only worth $40,000 a, a year. And that's how much you're going to pay. You. But in reality, you could be worth even more. But you don't know that because that company is valuing you at that level, right? So then it's up to you to go out and find that, whether that's to go out there and job searching to see, compare prices of how much you're making from this company A, company B is going to pay you out this much, right? But if you only look at one company and say, okay, I'm only worth 40,000 and you believe that in yourself, then that's the how you're going to act, right? And then you're going to later on complain the like, goal oh, it's so difficult making money, paying off rent, I'm only making 40,000 because you didn't go out there to search, right? So don't let yourself be stopped by other people. Go out there. Build yourself up and continue to grow and become successful, right? And that's what you want to be in Atomy. Because Atomy is, like I said, their vision is customer success, right? So they want you to grow as much as they're growing, right? And so if we stop growing, Atomy can't stop us from doing that, right? Atomy is continuing to grow. But if we stop growing, then that's our limit, right? So don't let yourself be limit, limitized by others, right? limited by your time, limited by your wealth, right? Limited by your situation because we have all kinds of things, right? Many people, we all come from different backgrounds. Maybe we are uh, financially struggling. Maybe we have uh, a lot of things to take care of like our kids or, or our family members, right? We all have different commitments, but don't let that stop you from building out your dream because we all deserve to dream. We all deserve to own our own selves and become a better person, right? But if we don't take charge in that, then no one will. No one cares other than ourselves, right? So we have to make uh, it possible. So I just have a quick uh, video here. It's about four minutes long. This is about um, Disney, Walt Disney, right? So they, you know this famous person, you probably watch their movies maybe when you're younger or with your kids or whoever. But this is the person who made uh, the famous Walt Disney movies like, you know, Snow White and, and Disney, Mickey Mouse and that stuff, right? So here's a short video for us to watch. Walt Disney grew up in a poor family. He was one of five kids, so to help out, he began painting and selling pictures to neighbors and family friends. In search of a better life, they soon moved to Kansas City, where Disney fell in love with trains. So at the age of 14, he was working at a railroad, selling snacks, candy and soda to the passengers. From that early age, he was not a stranger to hard work. Disney and his brother Roy woke up at 4.30 every morning to deliver newspapers before school, and after the school was over, they would do another round. This job was exhausting for the brothers. Walt Disney would often fall asleep in class, so he constantly received poor grades. But to support his family, he kept doing his job for more than six years. In high school, he took drawing and photography classes and became the cartoonist of the school newspaper. He even took courses at night. At the age of 16, he dropped out of school to join the US Army but was rejected because he wasn't old enough. Instead, he joined the Red Cross and was sent to France to drive an ambulance for a year. After he came back in Kansas City, he landed a job at an art studio, but he was fired. 
According to his boss, he lacked imagination and had no good ideas. He and his co-worker Ab Iwerks founded their own commercial company, but they failed to attract customers. So Disney and his brother Roy focused on creating cartoons and launched their own company called Laughogram, and their cartoons became very popular. But unfortunately, they did not provide enough income, so the company went bankrupt. With only $40 in his pocket, Walt Disney went to Hollywood. He tried to become an actor and failed at that too. So Disney convinced his brother to join him so they could start working again. And soon, with the creation of Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, Disney found his first big success. But sadly, that success didn't last long. Disney lost his legal rights to this popular character. But instead of feeling sorry for himself, Disney decided to start over. Disney and Up Iwerks created the animated character Mickey Mouse, and the cartoon became a huge success. Almost his entire life, Disney took a lot of risk with his money, investing them in projects to make them a big success. For example, he spent more than $2 million on Snow White, which became the first full-length animated movie. Everyone kept telling him that he was making a huge mistake, that he could lose all of his money. But he believed in his art and he was right. Snow White became a big success and he didn't stop there. Walt Disney began planning a massive theme park. He began planning the happiest place on earth and believe it or not, Disneyland was rejected more than 300 times. His imagination his energy and powerful mindset will always be remembered. He showed us that just having big dreams is not always enough, unless you're persistent and you're working hard to bring your ideas to life. That's the key to overcoming every failure and obstacle that comes your way. The reality is, you will fail. We all fail. So dare to make mistakes. If you spend your whole life avoiding anything risky, you might avoid failure, yes, but you will also avoid success. Walt Disney grew up poor and was never afraid of hard work. He was fired, he went bankrupt and failed over and over again. He was even rejected 300 times, but he never stopped. Walt Disney won 22 Oscars, so remember, it's kind of fun to do the impossible. So, what's your story? Open your mic, Junior. Right. And so, yeah, that's the story of Walt Disney. I hope that that uh, was definitely something that you resonated with. Right. It definitely resonated with me as well. And I think it's something that's very true to us, especially in the designing business. Right. We're going to uh, meet a lot of different failures, but don't give up. Right. You have to have a vision and a dream because that's going to be what's going to fuel you. Right. Walt Disney, he had a goal. He had a vision. He knew what he wanted to do. So he kept pushing himself, even though he failed multiple times. Right. And through that failure, he found success. But if we are scared to fail, if we are scared to ever do anything or even make any sort of mistakes or even try, then we're never going to find any sort of success in, in anything we do. Right. So we have to be the first ones to to push ourselves to move so that we can find success in, in anything. And so B, you have to be plugged into the system, right? Plugged into the system in Atomy, right? That means that you can't miss the seminars because the seminars are going to be your, your daily driver. They're going to be the ones that's going to be ones to push you to success, right? Whenever you feel uh, down, whenever you feel like you're not really doing well, you go to the seminars, you plug yourself in, and then you feel like you're being recharged, right? You feel like you're being fueled back up. And that's the purpose of the seminars. They're going to be the ones to help you make sure you're going on the right path. If you're going astray and you're going kind of off the road, then they're going to be the ones to direct you back on the road. But if you never go to the seminars, then you're going to be going in all kinds of directions, but not the right direction that you want to be on in Atomy. And holding hands together, 
right? Doing this business together is so important. That means you need to have that, like I said, the eye to discern who your core partners are because they're the ones that you want to be working together with along with your partners and sponsors. You have to be doing this together with them if you want to succeed because it's not like a business where you just do it by yourself, right? Anatomy is very different, right? If you want to become a diamond master, you need to have at least two sales masters below you, right? On each side. That means that you have to find worthy people to bring together with you because they're going to be the core partner. So when you become a Sharon Rose master, those two same people on each side are going to become diamond masters, right? They're the one kind of people you need to find, right? And that it can't just be anyone. They have to be as in love, as dedicated, and has a vision for themselves in Atomy as much as you do, right? And you have to be doing this in the right direction, right? Just because you're, you know, going to the seminars and listening to your sponsors, if you're not doing this in the right direction and being part of the system and actually learning from your sponsors properly, then you're going to have it taking a lot longer just to find a little bit of success in Adam, right? So why waste your time when you, the successful people have already done the steps for you, right? The Imperial Masters, the Royal Masters, they've already gone through the steps for you. So all you have to do is just copy them, right? Duplicate what they do. And then you're able to find that right direction. And then lastly, you want to do this until the end, right? The finish line, right? So you don't want to just stop at just making $2,000 per month, $3,000 per month, because not only are you not going to be satisfied with that, but your, your partners are also going to be the ones to suffer because they're not going to be making any sort of income, right? Like I said before, if you want to be doing this business together, you have to think of others' success. You want to be working hand in hand with others. And then naturally, you are all going to be working towards the same goal and reaching it together, right? If you're making only yourself rich, then that's only a handful of people that you're going to satisfy. But if you're able to not only make yourself satisfied and rich and, and, and wealthy, but if you make others and other families that you know wealthy as well, now you're giving them an opportunity. They're going to come and thank you, right? Daniel, because you reached out to me that day, you changed my life forever, right? Because you were the one to deliver out of me to me, it changed my life forever. And if you didn't become my sponsor at that time, I don't think I would have been where I am today, right? And so that's the kind of, uh, you know, direction you want to go with, with along with your partner. And so thank you so much for uh, listening to my uh, success strategy. I hope that uh, it kind of inspired you to uh, seek better, but not only for yourself, but for your partners, right? Because it's never too late to find success in anatomy, right? If you're still struggling to find success, it's never too late, right? Don't let it thing stop you, right? Whether it's money or time, right? As long as you have effort, right? As long as you have commitment, you can do it, right? And so uh, thank you so much for listening. And now we're just going to move on to our uh, next uh, last speaker for today. We're going to be our um, global news from Atomy, from our Sharon Rose Master, Esther. Hello, hello, everyone. Nice to see you again. Uh, this is Esther from Canada. How was the uh, lecture today, Maria and Daniel? It was uh, amazing, right? Go get it. We can do it, no matter what. <laughs> Never stops. Okay. I want to share about our global news today. Okay, I think it would be helpful for global business if uh, all leaders from each country share the, their news from their countries. So please let us know if you have a, a good news in your country. They will be great for everybody. So we have a, a GASM, a stand for a Global Auto Sales Master Club. So requirement is a must achieve sales master and above mastership 12 times or more within a year from the period you apply. So each year to maintain the global auto sales master club members, a member must achieve sales master and above and mastership 12 times or more in a year period. So must complete ABR and go sales master camp as well. 
who want to become a entered in a go sales mas go auto sales uh, master club this year? Are you? Are you going to enter this year? Uh, next year, right? Two thousand twenty-five. Okay. So this fund is a plug into the you know Aromi Canada success system. So you have to pass participate 100% in seminars and training programs organized by the company. And also attend the seminars and engage in the center activities with a supportive mindset and caring for the partners around you. And also the last one is very important. We must remember that it's not about using others, but about growing together. So we should be grateful in everything we do and partners are not tools for my success. So we have to always caring about our uh, partners together. So uh, next one, we, we have a Go Sales Master Camp. Uh, season four is underway. If you have any questions, please contact each of uh, your leaders for more information. And, and also the center program is uh, no longer available from January 2025. Uh, so please pass the information on to each partner. Uh, a new payment system has been introduced. If you have any question, please ask each leaders as well. So new system looks like, uh, Esther. Yeah, new stem looks like uh, 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 this, right? So you have to inform to your partner and then customers. And this chart uh, for new members and termination in Canada's uh, st statistics is you have to watch it carefully. So I think it's in Canada, we, uh, we have in the blue ocean so many people just you know, terminated right now. So you can grab them all of you under your groups. And all leaders must guide their partners to watch Good Morning Aromi for their successful business. You have to guide them a uh, proper way. So you have to uh, guide them uh, what is uh, Good Morning Atomy is right so you have to always you know uh, take care of your partners as well and also new website to be launched on december 18 2024 so please provide information so that uh, your customers are not confused and also non-member will be able to purchase products and non-member price that mean uh our absolute set is a member price of $345, right? The members, non-member price will be more than $500. So the customers will want to become a member if they know huge price difference. So I think this is a great opportunity for, uh, for us to build more customers. So please ask your leaders about more detail. And uh, we have a, a, a more promotion going on here. So please, you know, uh, inform your customer and then uh, your partners as well. So last year, uh, actually, I ran a free skincare promotion whole year, and about five hundred people, you know, participated. Uh, those customers continue to be my customers in two thousand twenty-four and also introduced me to new customers as well. So if you keep sharing without stopping, you will become an imperial master at some point. So never give up, just keep doing it, okay? Just keep doing it, no matter what. So you can become an imperial. Okay, thank you so much.
Thank you so much for that uh, global news. Uh, I hope that you're excited as well. A lot of new uh, things coming up, right? And Atomy continuing to uh, show that they want customer success, right? So a lot of new things implemented, like the new website and uh, the new programs involved, uh, especially those are great things that we should all be excited for, especially the non-member purchasing opportunity, right? There's time and time again, many people who don't, don't want to sign up, but if this will this will give them an incentive to sign up because it's they're going to be purchasing it at a non-member's price. So then why not sign up when it's free to purchase and it gives you an opportunity to invite others to do that. And so I think it's a really smart of Atomy to implement it. It took some time, but um, I'm definitely excited for that as well. Uh, so we're going to end it off today for with our company's moto, and then we'll just take a quick uh, picture. So stay around for that. So if you can just open up your mics and join me. Are you guys ready? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Let's begin. Cherish the spirit. Great vision. Follow the way. In humility. Thank you so much. So just take a quick picture. Uh, if you can just raise up a heart to join us. All right. Yeah. On three, one, two, three. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. See you all next week. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Yeah.